When I went back to see what the matter was, I found my mom sitting in a chair beside the cabinet. Her face had no expression, but tears were streaming down her cheeks. No matter how I tried to get her to respond, she would not. She could not. It turns out that my mother had suffered a stroke. She was taken to the hospital by ambulance. She ended up suffering partial paralysis and losing her ability to speak and form words. She has since regained the ability to speak. She could understand things being said to her and could respond by pointing to letters of the alphabet to spell out words she wanted to say. When I asked her the following day how she was doing, she teared up and spelled out the, word, the words N O. G-I-F-T. I assured her that I had given her a gift for her birthday, thinking that she didn't remember. But she became even more upset and spelled out the word H-A-T-E-G-I-F-T. -E I laughed and told her not to worry. I told her I was sorry she didn't like the cabin and that I would get her anything she wanted if she would promise to get well soon. Still I didn't associate anything that had happened with the cabinet itself or anything paranormal. Frankly I don't think I ever even used the term paranormal until this last month. I'll try to make this short now. I give I gave the cabinet to my sister. She, she kept it for a week, then gave it back. She complained that she couldn't get the doors to stay closed and that they kept coming open. There are no springs in the door mechanism and I have never found that the doors come open. I gave it to my brother and his wife who kept it for three days and then gave it back. My brother said it smelled like jasmine flowers while his wife insisted that it put out an odor of cat urine. I gave it to my girlfriend who asked me to sell it for her after only two days. I sold it the same day to a nice middle aged couple. Three days later when I came to open the shop for the day I found the cabinet sitting on the front door with a note that read this has a bad darkness. I had no idea what that meant. Anyway, I ended up taking it home. Then times got even worse. Since the day I brought it home, I began having a strange reoccurring nightmare. Every time I have the horrible dream, it goes something like this. I find myself walking with a friend, usually someone I know well and trust. At some point in the dream, I find myself looking into the eyes of the person that I am with. It is then that I realize that there is something different, something evil looking back at me. At that point in my dream, the person I am with changes into what can only be described as the most gruesome, demonic looking hag that I have ever seen. This hag proceeds, then, to beat the living tar out of me. I have awakened numerous times to find bruises and marks on myself where I had been hit by the old woman during the previous night. Still, I never related the nightmares to the cabinet, nor do I think I ever would have. About a month ago, however, my sister and my brother and his, his wife came over to my house and spent the night. The following morning during breakfast, my sister complained that she had had a horrible nightmare. She said that she recalled having had it a couple of times before and went on to describe my nightmare exactly to the la last detail. My brother and his wife 
froze as they listened and then chimed in that they had both had had the exact same dreams during the night as well. The hair was standing up on the back of my neck and still it, as we talked it became clear that the common denominator was that each of us had had the nightmare during the times that the cabinet was in our respective homes. I called my girlfriend and asked if she could recall having any nightmares recently. She described the same nightmare, same hag, everything when I asked her if she remembered the day when she had the nightmares she said she did not then i asked if it happened to be the night before she gave me the cabinet back to sell for she said yeah how, hey how did you know that now then since my family's discussion it seems like all hell is breaking loose for a week afterward, I started seeing what I can only describe as shadowy things in my peripheral vision. In fact, numerous visitors to my house have claimed that they have these shadow things. I put the cabinet in an outside storage unit and was awakened when the smoke alarm in the unit went off in the middle of the night. When I went to see what was burning, I opened the door and didn't see any smoke. However, I did get hit with a smell of cat urine. When I went back inside, the smell was there in my house. I do not own a cat, and I never have. I went back outside and grabbed the cabinet. I brought it back inside and tried to research it on the internet. While I was surfing the net, I fell asleep and once again had the same freaking nightmare. I woke up at around 4.30 a.m. when it felt and smelled like someone was breathing on my neck. To find that my house now smelled like jasmine flowers and just in time to see a huge shadow thing go lopping down the hall away from me. I would destroy this thing in a second except I really don't have any understanding of what I may or may not be dealing with. I am afraid, and I do mean afraid, that if I destroy the cabinet, whatever it is that seems to have come with the cabinet may just stay here with me. I have been told that there are people who shop on eBay that understand these kind of things and specifically look for these kinds of items. If you are one of these people, please, please buy this cabinet and do whatever you do with things like this help me. You can see that I have no reserve price or minimum bid. If I can make things any easier, let me know and I will do anything within my ability. One more note. On the same day my mom had her stroke, the lease to my store was summarily terminated without cause. The measurements are 12 Point five by 7.5 by 16.25. All of the items that I originally found inside of the cabinets are included in the cell and will be delivered with the cabinet. On June 12, 3 at 2.15.30 PDT, seller added the following information. There is no way that I can respond to all of the emails I've received since I put this thing online. I'll try now to update and answer the most common questions I've been receiving. 1. No, I am not religious. 2. No, I don't wish to have or participate in any sort of exorcism or case study or photo sessions at the my house. 3. No, I will not sell any of the individual pieces which were originally found separate from the other pieces in the cabinet. 4. No, I do not speak Hebrew nor do I know what the word Kesselin means. I do not know that the words even or or a Hebrew word. 
five. At the end of the auction, I have decided to take an opportunity to speak with the winning bidder for two reasons. A. To make sure that the winning bidder is a serious adult, has employed some value reasoning skills to make the decision to accept whatever this is. I will not be judgmental. Do whatever you want to or need after the sale. B. To offer full details of the events that I have transpired after I have carried out those responsibilities and upon payment I will have the cabinet and its contents delivered by U.S. Mail, FedEx, or UPS to the winning bidder. At that point, I have no further involvement with the matter in any way, shape, or form, period. 6. To all of you who have offered to pray, I may not be religious, but I am certainly open to the possibility. No matter what your religion might be, thank you. If you liked this story, please like, subscribe, and do share. Like I said before, each and every one of our posts and videos are organic reach. We do not boost. We do not add money. We do not buy subscribers or likes. So, if you can possibly share this, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. And everyone have a strange, bizarre, and unusual day.